Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1825. This is a time level, and I've played it through, and so I know what to expect. There are going to be a lot of barriers on this board. I'm going to crush through as much of the licorice and frosting as I can uh, to make as much space as possible to make as many cascades that will get me plus five candies and as many specials that'll get me points as I possibly can. So I especially want to clear out the things toward the bottom. Now we also have four color bombs on the board. They're kind of wrapped up and it used to be that we'd have to make sure they were unwrapped before they were usable, but here if we just leave them alone we'll get points for them at the end, so I'm not going to worry too much about them. We also have a frog on the board. If we can get him filled he might be valuable to us, um, but certainly just clearing out the space is going to be my primary objective. And that includes clearing out the area where the frog is located, so I might as well try to fill him up. Here we go. I've got um, several lives available, so if I don't get, ooh, hello, anything on the first few tries here, the first try or two, I'll just keep playing until I win. <laughs> I'm determined. Okay, so let's see. And oftentimes on the first playthrough, I don't win because I'm too busy talking to actually look at my moves. Now we're starting to get some cascading. If we can get enough cascading, we'll get plus fives. We're also starting to be able to get some specials here. Ah, oh, we got an, a divinely created color bomb. So helpful. The more I can clear out before I set off that color bomb, uh, the more valuable it'll, it will be because it will um, have more candy to collect. I know I'm missing a lot of specials, but that's what happens on a timed level. It's too hard to see everything. Now I can take out all purple. It'll probably fill the frog. I can move the frog to help me out and clear out more space. Let's see if I can get a... Nope. Ah. Well, that was kind of awful, but that always or usually happens to be my first playthrough because I'm too busy talking. So this next time round, well, this is technically, technically my second playthrough, but first playthrough for this round of recording. So see how I'm getting these? I could still win because if these create enough new specials on the board, I get credit for all of those, too. You see how the cascading is really... Uh, the biggest help to us here. Depends on if we cascade enough. Almost not quite. So now I'm going to do this and talk a little less and focus a bit more. Nice cascading. That plus five gets me more time in my time bank when I collect it. And look at all of these specials we're now creating. Oh, I wish I could get a color bomb, but a striped wrapped combo gives us a lot of points too. Yeah, and that frog is now filled. And so now I can set him over here and clear out more space. Ah, oh, look at all that orange. I feel like it should work as a color bomb. Got it. All right, so I think that I'm going to have enough on the board here. Even though I'm done, I should be getting some cascading from these things I have on the board and then additional stuff from here. Let's hope that it's enough. There we go. See how it's making more specials for me? That's just points right there. Oh, that was not good. Oh, so close. All right, one more try. We can do it this time. 
get a little bit better each time. Ooh, this does not look like a good setup. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Hello. Wonder if I could get a blue through here. No, because of this guy. Right over there. He was going to stop me from doing that anyway. I don't know what I'm doing. Ugh. Well, this looks worse, but the good news is it could be better. It's a, a lot of this is going to be contingent upon the, the play I get off of these guys. At this point in time, it's all a matter of that cascading. And if it just takes out the right color, it'll take out the most prevalent color, which is nice. I don't even have to think about it. But if it takes them out in such a way that... They make more specials, that's how we win. Ah, one more try. One more try. If I still have lives. Oh, I do. Oh, good. This is better. For a second. Yes. Okay, let's move him and open things up. Now we have space. Space means specials. Now it's not, oops, it's not awful to try to collect these beforehand. We could move the fish, the fish, the frog over there if we wanted. Um, and it might help to prolong the game. And I think if I don't beat the, oh shoot, I had an opportunity to make a color bomb and I missed it. I should have stayed with my no talking policy. Maybe I will move the frog over there if it doesn't work this time because then I might be able to work with those concentrated colors to develop them into more specials. But I think this one's going to work. I don't think I have to worry about it. Uh, but that's something you could do too. Experiment and see where you're getting the most benefit. There we go. So that's how I beat this. I don't know what that was that my total fifth playthrough. I think that was my fourth playthrough on this round. So it took me a while but we got it done. And you just have to be persistent with these and just keep looking for those moves. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. If you start with your golden spaceship, you'll start with two color bombs and that'll help a lot. Thanks for watching.